Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and easy alpine stitch. It's very easy to do, it's also a great pattern for a beginner. It looks harder than it is, I promise. It's a great stitch for a baby blanket, for a pillow cover, for a scarf, and really fun to crochet. This is how the front looks like, and this is how the back looks like. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful stitch. Today I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. And today I'm using the yarn Mila Mia. And this is a 100% wool, extra fine merino yarn. And it's really, really soft to work with. But of course you can use any yarn you want. And now I will show you how to work this beautiful Let's stitch. Start with a slip knot. And we will crochet a chain in a multiple of two. So for my project today, I am using 24 chains. And you just crochet your chains, multiples of two, until you reach your desired length for your project. If it's for a scarf or for a blanket, just keep crocheting chains in a multiple of two. And I will see you back in just a moment. Once you're done with your chains, we need to make one extra chain. So one more chain. And now we will start our first row. The first row is a row of single crochets. We will need the second chain from a hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. So one, two, insert your hook into the second stitch, grab the yarn and pull up, grab the yarn and go through the two loops. We will be working our first row in single crochets. So in every stitch, one single crochet. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up, and go through the two loops. And you will repeat this in every stitch. This is how my first row looks like. Now let's start our second row. For the second row, we will chain two. The chain two does count as our first double crochet. So we will skip this first stitch over here. So yarn over, skip the first, go into the next and crochet a double crochet. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, Go through the first two loops and through the next two loops. And we will repeat to make one double crochet in every stitch all the way along until we reach our last stitch. So just a row of double crochets. I am now almost to the end of my row and really important is not to forget the last stitch over here. So yarn over and make a double crochet in the last stitch. This is very important, so you have a nice and even border. For the next row, you will chain one and turn your work around. And in this very first stitch in here, you will make a single crochet. So just one single crochet. And now into the next stitch, a single crochet. And you will repeat making one single crochet in every stitch for this row. So just one single crochet in every stitch. Now at the end of my row, here's my last single crochet. But what's really important in the chain two from the very beginning, to make a single crochet in our second chain. So in the second chain, insert your hook and one single crochet. And now you can see the edge is all even. For the next row, we will chain two again and turn our work around. What we're going to do is work the front post double crochet row. What we are going to do, we chained our chain two and we will skip the first double crochet here. We need the next double crochet, so skip the first one. This is the one we need to work in. So for the front post double, just yarn over, insert your hook behind the double crochet like that. Now the double crochet is laying on top of your hook, grab the yarn and pull up. 
I like to pull it up so I have the height from my double crochet or the chain two. And now grab the yarn, go through the first two loops and through the last two loops. Behind this front post double crochet here is one stitch. And we will skip that stitch because we worked our front post double and this one is right in front of it. Now yarn over into the next stitch here on top in the single crochet, we will make a normal double crochet. So just a double crochet and now again a front post. So yarn over, skip the double crochet in the previous row and into the next here, make your front post double crochet. Yarn over in the next stitch on top of it in the single crochet, make a double crochet. And now again, yarn over, skip the next double crochet here and into the next, make your front post. Just when you make the front post double crochet, just pull it up so you have the height from your double crochet and then finish it. And already you can see how the front posts are working up in this row. So again, yarn over in the next stitch, a double crochet and skip the double crochet here. And in the other one here, a front post double. So you see, we have a front post double crochet, then we work a normal double crochet, front post double crochet, and again on top, a normal double crochet and you will repeat this all the way along. So again, a double crochet. We skip the double crochet here and go to the next and work our front post double. And you will repeat this all the way along. Now at the end of my row, and this is how our row looks like. You can already see it looks beautiful and you see it's very, very easy to do. What we need to do now, it's in the last stitch. This is our first single crochet from the previous row. We will just make another double crochet. So just a double crochet in the last stitch. And for the next row, you will chain one, turn your work around, and now one single crochet in every stitch. In the first stitch here, insert your hook and a single crochet into the next a single crochet and you will repeat this in this whole row one single crochet in every stitch you see it's very very easy don't make those single crochets too too tight just loosely finish making your single crochets in every stitch To finish the row of our single crochets, we will need our second chain from the previous row. Insert your hook and finish working your single crochet. For the next row, chain two, turn your work around. And what we need to do in this row here, we will of course skip the first double crochet here. This is what our chain twos are here for. And here's our front post double crochet. But we need to make a double crochet on top here where our front post is and into the normal double crochet here we will make our front post. I will show you. It's very, very easy to do. So what we are going to do is yarn over. Here's our front post. On top of that front post, we will go into the single crochet and make a double crochet. And now we will make our front post in this normal double crochet from the previous row. So again, yarn over, go into the double crochet and work your front post double. Now again, in the next stitch, a double crochet on top of the front post. And now we will make a front post double crochet. And again, in the next stitch, a double crochet. And in the double crochet, a row down, we will make a front post double crochet. And that's all it is. <laughs> Just a double crochet 
and a front post double crochet. And you will repeat this in this whole row and you can already see this beautiful stitch. I'm here at the end of my row and what's really important again is in the first single crochet from the pre previous row to finish off with a double crochet. So just insert your hook into the last stitch and make a double crochet. And this is how our stitch looks like. And for the next row, we will repeat a row of single crochets. So chain one, turn your work around. In the first stitch here, insert your hook and make a single crochet. And now repeat make one, to make one single crochet in every stitch until you get to your last stitch. Oh, you will have to make a single crochet in the second chain from the previous row. So in the second chain here, finish off with a single crochet. Now chain two again, turn your work around. And what we are going to do in this row, like you can see, we have here our first double crochet, our second, and here's the front post. So the chain two does count as the first double crochet. And in this double crochet here, we will make a front post double. So yarn over, go behind the first double crochet and make a front post double. Here's our front post double from two rows down. And on top of that, we will make a double crochet. And this is all it is. And you will repeat now making a front post double. And in the next stitch here on top of the front post from two rows down, a double crochet. And this is how you repeat those rows. So front post, double in the double crochets, then make a double crochet, and again a front post double. Repeat this to the end of the row and I will show you one more time how to start the next row. At the end of this row you will make a double crochet in the first single crochet from the previous row. So in here just finish off with a double crochet. And now again chain one, turn your work around. In the first stitch here start with your first single crochet and now one single crochet in every stitch. And then you will repeat those rows until you reach your desired height for your project. But for this row, one single crochet in every stitch. Of this row, we will need our second chain again. Insert your hook into the second chain and finish with your single crochet. And now chain two, turn your work around. And like you can see in this row here, we have our front post double and this border double crochet we will skip. So chain two, skip the first stitch on top of the front post double crochet here, make your double crochet and now again your front post. So again a front post double, a normal double crochet and again here a front post double. And you will repeat those rows over and over again. After this row, you will make a row of single crochets and then again a row of front post double and double crochets. And I will repeat those rows a couple more times and I will show you how it looks like. Just keep repeating those rows over and over again until you reach your desired height for your project. I repeated those rows and this is how the stitch looks like. You see it's so so easy and it's just beautiful and so much fun to crochet. To finish off your project I would recommend to finish off after the row of single crochets but this is totally up to you but I think this makes a nice border and if you want to finish off your project all you have to do at the end of the row just chain one 
cut your yarn, grab your hook, pull through and pull tight. And all we have to do now is sew in our ends and we are done. I sewed in all my ends and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me. I would love to see your pictures, your crochet projects. You can send me um, pictures if you like or messages on my Instagram account. I will link this down below. Have a great time and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.